How, how do we call it? Just honest. Uh, yeah, with two hot coffee chicks. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> coffee confessions. <gasps> Today we are in Melbourne, in Litchfield, in Litchfield. <laughs> and this is Debbie. She is the owner. Debbie, Hi. say a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm Debbie. I'm the owner. So you walk up to Melbourne. Um, we're a cafe, and um, I guess a part of our ethos at Melbourne is everybody is welcome. Everybody should feel valued. Um, everybody needs to know that they um, are welcome, basically, in Melbourne, and it's a safe. Um, place. It doesn't matter if you're furry, feathered, or what colour, what religion, um, we like to make you feel at home. So guys, today we're going to have a conversation with you about the reality of working in hospitality industries. Um, before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel and see a lot of our faces. There's going to be more. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I used to be a cafe consultant in a different country, obviously, accent's different. And I remember the story, one day I walked in and I had a couple from a different country who wanted to buy a cafe in Australia and I had to teach her to unwrap the banana red, bread from the plastic before she stuck it in the toaster. And that from that day it always taught me that never treat people as if they know things. Yeah. Why are you cleaning? Are you shutting? You have no idea how many times people would walk through the doors when chairs and tables are inside, everything's piled up, literally we are in the jacket standing ready to leave and it's like, are you guys closed? Mm. We get a, a, a trip advice nearly every weekend Yes, so, um, saying that we were a few servants. Um, we close it too. We've got pretty signs on the outside of our cafe that we paid a lot of money for, for a, you know, a sign writer to write, close it too on a, on a Sunday. And my Sunday manager, she, she's beside herself because she could, at 2.30, she'll leave the machine on knowing that someone might stick their head in. She'll make you a takeaway coffee, but she gets um, trip advisors saying, Rufus service. People come in, specialty coffee shops, saying, well, I drink really good coffee on filter in the morning at home. Oh, really? What coffee do you drink? It's number five. Don't ever say a number. <laughs> You've got a queue, and this is all different people. you got a queue, and then they get to you, and they go, so what do you think I should have? And my answer generally in my head is, an answer. <laughs> you, know, you should know what you want. That, that's what I want. Or when they say they ask their 18 month old baby what they want, and I'm like, you do not ask your 18 month old baby in a queue of people what they want to drink. Can I have a wet cappuccino? That is a latte. When you think about people that only want to wait, 30 seconds or 90 seconds for a coffee. Yeah. It's 30 seconds for a greeting, 90 seconds for an actual beverage in their hand. And you've got someone that's in that queue. The barista is responsible for the speed of service. And if we can't expedite and go, hey, come on, what would you like? Um, our job is to make everybody happy and we don't make everybody happy. Yeah. <laughs> People walk in and go, do you know what's hot? I'm like, um, I'm standing behind a 32 amp coffee machine. No, I wasn't aware that it was hot today. You've got massive windows in front of your face and people are like, oh, do you know, it's raining outside. It's like, yes. Oh, but yeah, you haven't been outside. It's like, no, no. Hmm, I do you know how windows work? <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Do you know I've got a swear jar and if people come in and tell my baristas that it's hot I make them put money in the swear jar and the money goes to charity Really? Yeah, it's there Yeah And stuck behind the Because you only feel what's outside We feel what's outside plus the temperature of the machine and the grill the grinders, and the boiler the and oven. the grill yeah. yeah It just goes on and on Piles up Yep I can't be a woman and run a business and that's not necessarily from men or old people, it's from women as well and they congratulate me in the street that I own a business. Oh, this place is lovely, who owns it? Uh, that'd be me. No, like who really owns it? No, I really own it. 
Your husband owns it, but you're here. <laughs> no, my husband doesn't own it. I, I own it, I run it, and that's, that's it. So you work for him? <laughs> no, I, I own it. Yes, I run it, I manage it, I bake in it. <laughs> so you're a baker? Oh yeah, I, I, I own the establishment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't believe you. Women are actually really good in businesses. Might not be logical once a month. <laughs> but still there's a lot of care. Just don't buy coffee in those cafes. <laughs> when I when I was starting, it took me good six, eight months for, for people to actually start looking at me as a professional simply because there's not many women in the industry doing what I'm doing and it's simply because there's not many people in general so it's not that there's no woman doing it but there's there's not that many consultants if someone's good in what they do they good in what they do not because of gender not because of the age they just good in what they do but it's not though because I love my customers um it's just that one customer maybe every day comes in and makes you regret life <laughs> so don't don't get us wrong there's most of the people that come to the coffee shops are amazing mm -hmm. most of the people it's just very very few that simply listen if you want to have a chat talk to me i'm gonna i'm gonna listen i'm gonna help you or advise you but yeah if you're really nice about it you know uh, you don't have to whisper i don't i think if you No, it just whispering doesn't really stop being a keyboard warrior, stop hiding behind a keyboard, engage with people, and hashtag don't be a dick. We're, we're all people, we're all human, and I don't understand why we treat each other inhumanely. Or if you or if you are, make sure we can record a video on it. Yeah. Next time you're gonna order that, you can say, can I have one shot quarter though? Done. Makes it easier for you. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We're close. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I, I you're getting drip advice. <laughs> I literally got the biggest sign on the door that says close at four, which was a good what, 45 minutes ago when I'm getting books. <laughs> Actually, we were here at eight o'clock in last night and people were still angry that we weren't open. Really? Yeah, 15 hour work days isn't long enough. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, I'm here at six baking people. You feel like. <laughs> Coffee consumption stops it too. Would you generally? Um, coffee consumption sort of starts to work its way down after two. Yeah. So most cafes and chains don't make much of a profit or any profit, and might actually go the other way around. Yeah. After two, and uh, people come in and they say, "Why don't I open till seven? Because Costa do." Yeah. Wait, well, I'm not Costa. I'm an independent, and I also want a, a work-life balance for my employees. And that's something that I offer that the chains don't. Do you know what? I go out with my customers. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure you don't talk about coffee they have. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have a life. It's like, it's like we're going to talk about beverages we will have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have. And it will be alcohol. Do you think everybody in the coffee industry are alcoholics? <laughs> I think in general, in hospitality, there, there's a trend of... of, of Drinking. Um, yeah. I haven't been to a Barista Smackdown with it where it's been sober. <laughs> no, I mean, you don't. Me doesn't matter where you are in the world, no. they're all alcos. Yeah. But there's this. So, so with the Barista Smackdowns, there's obviously a stress level involved. So people yeah. drink to chill out. But the thing is, people drink very often to actually take out all the bad energy mm -hmm. they consume throughout the day. So it's like, I need to forget about this day. <laughs> Which is sad, which is really sad. Fortunately, I don't think it's coffee shops. I mean, I, I can think of few. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Not to name them. <laughs> do, you, do you make up stuff? Like, do you feel like if kids come in and they go, we want marshmallows and whipped cream, and then they go, I don't have marshmallows or whipped cream because I provide a real beverage. Mm, hipster pants, right on. But then I go, oh, but I can make you a hot chocolate that unicorns drink for breakfast. Yeah, I don't go as far that, that, that far. I don't drink on my shifts. <laughs> but then if 
put little flowers on them and I spray edible glue there and I go, well, that's a unicorn's fart. I very often use um, the Barista Cube. So they roll it, I start pouring and they're like, wow! The worst thing is when you pour a swan and they're like, wow! What, what is, is it? it? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, oh. Oh, no, no, my favourite is when you've poured the best latte of your entire life and they look at it and they go, mm-hmm, and then they just pour sugar on top and I'm like, oh no, no, really? Look, this is not even an Instagram! Do you know someone brought my coffee today because there was a monkey on it? Yeah, that was this kid. <laughs> do you, oh, yes, do you know what kills me? It's not a monkey, it's an ape. <laughs> Coffee lover. Oh no, don't. Every Do you day. have this coffee pulled by a cat? Do you really oh, want to eat feces? It's a civet. It's a civet and it's force fed. Yeah. In a cage. And yeah. you want to spend money and fund that industry. No. I, it's not a monkey, it's not a cat, it's not a bird. So don't ask a barista that, that really winds me up. We understand what shit coffee is. <laughs> Oh, I'm really rolling. Yeah. We're going for it, why not? Put hashtag coffee confessions in the comments down below if you want to see more of this type of videos on this channel. Remember, there's going to be new episodes coming up every single Tuesday at 6.45, whether it's coffee life, tips and tricks, tutorials, in travel journeys, and coffee confessions, of course. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell down below to get notified as soon as the new video comes up. I'll speak to you soon.